come experience life as we know it. As some of you should know it. Yeah. yeah. Man, I've been, I've been wonderful. I, <laughs> I like to first off saying, as a young black actor, man, you've been a, definitely an inspiration in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, so thank you very much. You well, I appreciate that. Yes, appreciate sir. That. Um, the Express. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was driving over here and I saw these little kids, Pop Warner football, and they okay. were maybe okay. 11, 13. And I was thinking, you know, these kids don't even know Ernie mm -hmm. Davis. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's important for them to know who this, this, this athlete, this, this, this icon in, in black, you know, culture? Mm -hmm. Well, well uh, two things I want. I want to answer it two ways. I, I think they don't know him because any Heisman Trophy winner that mm -hmm. wins the Heisman Trophy and doesn't do well in the pros, mm -hmm. you forget anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's the one that goes on and becomes, you know, a hero in pro ball yes, sir. as well that you remember. And the thing about Ernie is had he went on to live long enough to play for the Cleveland Browns mm -hmm. with him and Jim Brown in the same backfield, we would have been <laughs> saying who was the greatest running back, yeah. Jim Brown or Ernie Davis, yes, you know sir. what I mean? And so, um, so, so I think that's part of it. But also, it was a long time ago for, for the Pop Warner kid. 1961, you know, mm -hmm. that's, that, that's an eternity away. I mean, yes, you, they, they don't even know who John F. Kennedy was, well, you know what I mean? So, um, uh, but, but, but I think on, on to answer your question more directly, for a young man to go through what he went through at that time mm -hmm. uh, without anger and without confrontation and, 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 not, and not with a turn the other cheek, you know, you obviously, you know, you... You get him on the field, he gonna get you back. You yes, know sir. what I mean? But but he did it as a gentleman, you know. Yes, and I, I think it's, and I think it's a movie about discovering or rediscovering one's own humanity. Yes, sir. And how that can get you through life. You know what I mean? Without listen, America's gonna be the way it's gonna be. We all know that. Mm -hmm. You know that ain't changing. But um, regardless of who's running for president, that other element of America is probably another 500 years before that equals out. Right, but sir. Um, but 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 I think. I, I, I think I, I think he went through a, 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 a kind of an unstressful life in the sense that his grandfather instilled him with a kind of way mm -hmm. to be a person in this world, mm -hmm. to command respect mm -hmm. and receive respect. Yes, sir. But you know it's going to be rough, you know, so yes, ain't no sir. sense crying about it. Man. Seems like that coach of yours like to pass the ball. I'll get my carries. Oh, yeah? He promised you that? No, thank you, man. No, but eventually. How so are your grades, Ernie? Ernie. They're good, Pops. Thanks. I'm keeping them up. I like history, and I'm taking a business course. That's good. Because football is just a game. It's that degree that's going to count for something. I'm going to get you a good job. Where are you going to get a good job at? A Negro with a diploma. AT&T? GM? It's football that's going to take him someplace. Otherwise, you're going to be working right here with us, cutting coal, and you know I want to apologize for him. You ain't got to apologize <laughs> for me, Pop. Don't you start it tonight, Pops. Will. Guys. Don't start it tonight. Whoa, Will. whoa, Will. whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. You're both right. Now, my plan A is the Cleveland Browns. Now, if that doesn't work out, plan B is the New York Giants. Ernie Davis, Heisman Trophy winner. Barack Obama, uh, possibly the next president of the United States of America. Do you feel the black man has evolved and arrived in society? Obama, Obama, <laughs> went in, Obama went in the presidency if he wins the presidency. It's a mm -hmm. big if because that's really going to depend upon what white folks do when that curtain closes. <laughs> yes, sir. Regardless of all the hoopla. Mm -hmm. It'll really depend on what they really do when the curtain closes as far as they're pulling that lever. But Obama winning the president doesn't change a damn thing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't change anything. Mm -hmm. It's a long way to go. Sure, there's been a mammoth change. Yes, sir. But it's still a long, long way to go. And that happens in one's own household. If you teach your kid, mm -hmm. your kid or my kid, mm -hmm. to be prejudiced, to be racist, to be anti something, then we'll never, then it will never change. Mm -hmm. I live in Howard, I live in Howard County, Maryland. Mm -hmm. a right-wing uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, country town uh, outside of Maryland. And I know when I look at the kids, I can see change is going to be hard to come. Mm -hmm. Because even little white farmer kids have already set in their minds from their parents mm -hmm. about the way they should think about America. Yes, sir. 
And now if their kids and then the next 10 generations feel the same way, where does it end? So, yes, sir. But that's, you know, that's, it's, that's the way it is around the world. So. You know, this, this is why I love you, and this is why millions of other people love you, because you're real. Um, thank you very much.